when we finally get that time machine up and running, a candy store is going to be our very first stop. Is that Skittles Bubblegum? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 candies we wish were still readily available. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the most beloved candies and sweets to ever disappear from store shelves. In some cases, we may not have realized just how great they were until they were gone. To be considered for this list, a product needs to have been generally discontinued, not just made unavailable in certain markets. Number 10, PB Max. The PB in PB Max doesn't mean penguin black belt. <laughs> Sold in a box containing six individually wrapped snacks, these treats were clearly candy bars disguised as snack bars. And as kids, we were totally complicit in the con, running to get these whenever our parents let us pick out granola bars for school. So long as they didn't look too closely at your selection, you were in the clear. PB means peanut butter, real peanut butter, lots of real peanut butter. Despite the misleading packaging, these bad boys were loaded with everything a kid could want from a candy bar. Overly sweet peanut butter and crunchy cookie all smothered in chocolate. Despite doing $50 million in sales, the Mars company decided to pull the plug. Why? Apparently the Mars family just wasn't all that into peanut butter. Now that's maximum satisfaction. Even if you're as wholesome as a plow boy, that's pure bliss. Number nine, the real Ghostbusters Slimer Bubblegum. What happened, are you okay? He slimed me. Children are notoriously picky eaters. Kids will turn their noses up at any texture or flavor profile more complex than a chicken finger or peanut butter on toast. And yet, most kids love gross candy. What better way to get your kicks as a child than with translucent green slime that you can squeeze out of a toxic looking tube straight into your mouth to the shock and horror of anyone watching. A few chews later and voila, it's gum. It was like a party trick for kids that invoked the image of eating boogers on an industrial scale. What's not to like? Well, the fact that it was discontinued. Released in 1989 in tandem with Ghostbusters 2, this product was never long for this world. Ghostbusters! Pat to their back, screaming. Ghostbusters! Number eight, Jumbo Nerds. Take the tab and cherry. Shake your box and cherry. For fans of nerds, there is a whole slew of discontinued spin-offs we want back. Dweebs, a soft, chewy, nerd-like candy. Nerds gum traditional looking nerds that turned into gum, and many more. They're both so delicious, I can't decide. But sometimes it's the simplest variation that you miss the most. So if we could get just one nerds product back, it would be jumbo nerds. In place of your typical two flavors to a box arrangement, the jumbo variety delivered a rainbow assortment of oversized nerds, roughly two to three times the size of the original candies. It's a simple variation, but one that did the trick and one that is dearly missed. Number seven, Wonka Donuts. Wanna bring home the imagination of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Wonka strikes again. A solid chocolate donut shaped piece of deliciousness with a truffle like smooth center, all covered in sprinkles, Wonka Donuts were a candy that certainly would have earned Homer Simpson's approval. Up, 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 more. But sadly, Homer isn't real. And here in the real world, this particularly tasty confection just didn't catch the eye of consumers. Released in 2005 around the same time as Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the marketing campaign behind them was strong. But ultimately, the candy proved too simple for modern consumers. Uh, uh! But absence makes the heart grow fonder. And with a little time apart, we've come to appreciate the chocolate donuts we once ignored. Mm, forbidden donut. Number six. Bonkers. Some folks don't believe the super fruitiness of Bonkers fruit candy. They learn soon enough. Nabisco is a big name in the cookie and cracker industry, but in the 1980s, they dabbled in the candy game with Bonkers, a chewy rectangular candy that came in a variety of fruit flavors as well as chocolate. Rich chocolate outside, dark fudge inside. <laughs> The marketing campaign behind the product was incredibly successful thanks to a number of commercials that employed over-the-top humor. Sadly, when the initial publicity push ended, sales quickly began to drop off. The commercials were a hit, but without the constant public reminders, Bonkers proved less memorable. 
Although Leaf Brands acquired the rights to the candy in 2012 with plans to reintroduce the gloriousness, as of 2017, they had yet to follow through. My son thought bonkers was gum. He knows it's candy now. <laughs> Number five, Butterfinger BBs. Mmm, Butterfinger BBs. Why don't you share them? Just eat them, share them, eat them, share them. If there were ever a memorable fictional celebrity endorsement, it was Bart Simpson and Butterfinger. Thanks to his expert salesmanship, we're pretty much always down for a Butterfinger, despite the reservations of the ADA, BDA, and CDA. Ooh, thanks, Bart! Plato says to share is to truly live! Yeah? Well, Bardo says eat my shorts. The nice thing about Butterfinger BBs was that they didn't get stuck in your teeth quite as badly as their candy bar namesake, which is always a plus. They had a good run from 1992 to 2006, when they were discontinued. While Nestle rolled out a replacement in 2009 with the Butterfinger Mini, those little rectangles just failed to fill the BB-sized hole in our hearts. Come on, eat them all! Mm, okay. Nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Number four, bar none. There are chocolate bars and cookie bars and nut bars by the score. Maybe bar none sounded classy to Hershey in 1986, but in retrospect, it just feels forgettable. Or like there won't actually be a chocolate bar in there. Pair the name with a packaging utterly devoid of character, and you get a candy bar that should have consistently failed to catch the eye of shoppers. And yet, despite the odds, Bar None earned itself a dedicated following, staying on the shelves for nearly a decade. Sadly, the company decided to rework the bar and add caramel in 1993, which signaled the beginning of the end, turning away many devoted customers, proving, even in chocolate, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you want the bar with the most by far, bar none's what you're looking for. Number three, Gator Gum. So if you want to lick mouth, chew up a storm. What went wrong here? Was it that every candy and beverage company did a flavored gum spin-off of their product in the 80s and the market was simply oversaturated? Get your sea shined up, grab a stick of juicy fruit, the taste is gonna move ya. Or was it the fact that Gator Gum sounds like it was made either for or out of alligators? <laughs> the gum allegedly had a great, distinctly tart flavor that was certainly refreshing. But the packaging's claim that it would quench your thirst, however, was a little dubious. Maybe that's why it failed to connect with sports drink fans. With chewing gum enthusiasts, however, the product was a total hit. And to this day, they're still hoping for Gator Gum's comeback season. Mm, delicious. This is delicious. <laughs> Number two, Cookies and Cream Twix. Bad news. Now Twix has cookies and cream between the chocolate and that great cookie crunch. Good news. Here's the problem with popular candy bars. They're always producing spin-offs or variants, and unless they sell absurdly well, production is terminated shortly thereafter. For all candy bar enthusiasts who purchase these new products and fall in love, it's an endless cycle of heartbreak. But few memories continue to sting like this Twix bar that got away. Released at the same time as Chocolate Fudge Twix, Cookies and Cream was the clear winner. Now there's thick, rich fudge between the chocolate and that great cookie crunch. Good news! Sadly, it was only available from 1990 to 1991. But what a sweet year it was. According to numerous retro food bloggers, it's remembered as the best flavored Twix bar ever made. Twix, each bar is better than the other. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Sweet dreams you can't resist, N -E -S -T -L -E -S. What do you know? The Lifesavers family just got a little smaller. New Lifesavers holes. It's Airheads Cotton Candy Bubblegum. Number one, Dinosaur Eggs. You know what this is? It's a dinosaur egg. All right, if we found a magic lamp, but like a discount one that only came with one wish, and the genie inside was a candy-specific one that, okay, this analogy isn't working. Take two. If we had the ability to resurrect one discontinued candy, it would be dinosaur eggs. Go on then. Why? Because they were epic. And kind of the perfect candy. Awesome theming? Check. They looked like dinosaur eggs. Long lasting? Check. These things lasted 30 to 60 minutes. New and exciting? Heck yes they were. 
It even said so on the advertisement. Quote, the only giant sour jawbreaker on the market. And boy, were they sour. Sadly, by the mid 90s, they were extinct. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.